Guess what time it is? It's time to pull an egg sack. I'm so excited. All right, everybody. Uh, we are going to pull the Serial Cosmos Ori egg sack. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to steal one from a female. Uh, the last two that I've had, they actually abandoned them, so I just grabbed them out of the side of the enclosure. She has been very defensive of this thing since I, uh, every time I check up on her. So I don't expect this to go very well. Um, I'm going to have some tongs, two sizes, smaller ones, bigger ones. I'm hoping to distract her with the bigger ones and grab it with the little ones. I also have my handy dandy uh, wooden skewer here just in case but uh, let's see how ticked off she's going to be she's already ticked off yeah she's mad yep she's mad it's okay dear now, I know you don't want to give it up but you got to there we are she did well we're going to cover her back up. She's going to be ticked off. We'll give her a feed here in a little bit to uh, take her mind off of things. So I'm going to pause you guys here. We're going to get that thing onto something, and we're going to open it up and put it in the incubator. And hopefully there's little eggs with legs in there. This is day 24. So um, it's a couple days earlier than I, that, than I kind of decided to, to pull it. But everybody said with the temperatures I have, we should have eggs with legs at day 21 roughly. So let's... Let's hope and see what we got. Uh, I'll get you guys reset back up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so first off we'll do size comparison and um, the, the egg is really light and fluffy which I think is a good sign. Um, <clears throat> I think when they're hard and heavy is not a good sign. <clears throat> so it's really, really light, really fluffy, but it's a size, this is a water bottle lid from a plastic water bottle. Now uh, the pre-pot, pre-bought, uh, you know whatever water in the cases that we get um so yeah you're, you're roughly looking at the size of a quarter this is what the uh egg sack is now these are going to be tiny little dudes so uh now uh, well without further ado we're going to try and get this thing open i'm going to try and work around you guys the best i can um so you can see what i'm doing i'm just going to use this little tool here to uh I'm going to shake like crazy. I think one because of my normal shaking and two because I'm really, really nervous. Now they, they really web, um, really, really strong. Please be good. It doesn't look like they're good. Gotta get through all these different layers of her, her webbing here. More little babies. Oh goodness, they're eggs with legs. Look at that. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but uh we have little tiny eggs with legs. Trying to get this open without hurting anybody is not easy because these are very, very tiny. You can see how tiny they are. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys because I'm just too too shaky to do this with, uh, there's one little baby right there. Let's see if you guys can see that little dot right there. Look at little baby egg with some legs. 
So, okay, like I said, I am going to get these guys set up in the incubator, so I need to do that without shaking so much. So I'll show you guys once we're all set up. All right, everyone, uh, you could see what we got going on here vaguely. Uh, it's going to be hard to focus on them little buggers, but we'll zoom in here. <clears throat> you could see the ones that are pretty much separated throughout the sides and over on the bottom part of this whole entire mess. Um, the ones in like, get the handy dandy pointer. Right here, there's a couple of them stuck together. These guys are stuck together on something there. I don't know what that is. And then I'll zoom in on what's left of this egg sac. Now, they're all pretty much moving, except for the ones that you'll see that are dark. Um, why won't you zoom in? Hopefully you guys will be able to see this. I probably should just put the ring light on the phone here. Let's try that. Let's see if that helps any. Probably not. Probably need to charge the ring light up a little bit. But uh, if you could see them, see their little legs moving. I don't know how many are going to crawl out of all this jumbled mess here. Again, if I try to start separating this, all I'm going to do is squish them. There's no real good way. These things are small. Uh, or very small. Um, grain of rice small. They, they are very, very dinky. And, and they'll actually be even smaller once they molt into first instar. Um, they will be even smaller because their abdomens will be skinnier, right? Is, is this first instar when they're separated like this? I think it is, right? I don't know. I, I never I never really paid attention to the instar part of, you know, eggs with legs to first instar, second instar. Is this considered eggs with legs, I'm assuming, because uh, it still looks like an egg and it's got legs. So you have eggs with legs, then they'll molt in the first instar, and then they'll have to molt in the second instar, and that's when they start eating. So, um, so you can see the little leggies moving there. It's hard to see because now they're against white, but uh, they, they seem to be okay. Uh, again, you saw the incubator. It's just a 32-ounce deli cup with water in it. There's holes in the side, and there's also holes in the side and the bottom of the 16-ounce deli cup that the coffee filter will go in. And then we'll put the lid on top of that 30 or 16-ounce deli cup, stick it inside the 32-ounce deli cup, and I'll show you that when I get to that point, and then stick that back over by the heater. And then the humidity will help these guys because um, they do need it at this point, but you have to be careful with what you do with them because at this point and even first instar they can drown uh, They don't have the ability to uh, trap air in their book lungs. So Yeah, let me get these guys into the deli cup and we're gonna put them away. I'm gonna take some pictures and uh, Yeah, we're gonna pray over the course of the next handful of days it looks I mean I can't even imagine to guess how many are in here and I, I really wish that there was a way to separate them. I'm holding this uh, tripod because the light's pulling the camera down. But I really wish there was a way to separate these guys because I'm not sure that they're going to make it stuck like this. So, you know, it may be just what we have. You know, I mean, let's count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 that are just around this outside edge. So I'm going to say there's probably just as many. I'm sorry about this camera work, guys. That there's just as many here and here as there are strewn out against the side so we're probably pushing over a hundred eggs um, you could see the darker ones let's see if we can right there oh, look at my handshake right there right there you could see a couple other ones right there right there right there and one back here one right there 
I can't separate those out. I, if I could, I would, but I can't right now. So we're, we're kind of going to have to uh, hope for the best. We don't want mold to attack these guys, so I have to make sure that I monitor them a couple times a day. Uh, yeah, so we're looking at probably over 100 of them. That's pretty cool. Uh, really, really cool. If, if I if I can get 50 or 60 of these guys to actually separate and and make it through the, to that second instar, I'm going to be ecstatic. Really, really ecstatic. So, okay, well, uh, we'll do some updates, uh, we'll say, like, four days from now, five days from now, or if anything changes with these guys, I will I will show you. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Then there's, uh, there's another thing I want to show you I add to the end of this, uh, which has really, really got me super, super excited. Um, I'll get that down here in a second. We'll add that. But uh, thanks for watching these guys, and then watch for this little bonus, and I think you're going to like it. So I just found this bugger. This is the Brachypelma albiceps. I am not not comfortable calling either way with the ventral just because this, the trench is kind of at an angle and I can't get a very good shot, but I'm, I'm leaning a little bit towards female on this one. But that little black area there is kind of, it's deceiving because when I get it, when I look at it a different way, it, it looks male, so... Uh, hopefully this one will start pumping out here soon because I, she's been or he's been down here for half an hour and hasn't moved at all. So uh, he may have just flipped or she may have just flipped over just prior to me seeing it. And we knew it was coming, and I'm really surprised that this one's molted before that Davis Penalorus male. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna hope for the best here. We're gonna hope for a female, and I will I will update you guys later on in the day on what we have and also uh, there'll be another little update a quick update added after this one um my chromatopoma cyanea pubescence nikita molted also and i'll show you the uh close-up pictures of the spermatheca and the molt and um yeah so i didn't say a goodbye after that video so uh, i'll say it now uh, so we'll see everybody later and again, I will update you with this one here once we get through with the molt, uh, hopefully later on this evening. And uh, of course, I'll update you guys with the babies as they go. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, something different. Um, again, it's first time on camera for me doing anything with an egg sac. I'm, I'm just absolutely thrilled. We will uh, feed Helena. Uh, later today, so we'll we'll probably start filming some uh, feedings, and then we'll compile them into a feeding video, and she shall be in that. So, uh, again, um, it's been a good day. Hopefully, if this baby turns out to be female, this is gonna just make my whole week this week. So, uh, I really really hope that uh, that we have a female here. So, all right, we'll talk to everybody soon. Thanks for watching, and bye bye. Yep, hello everybody. Um, Nikita molted. This is the female chromatopelma cyanea pubescence. Uh, we'll try and get a picture or two of her in a minute. I uh, just wanted to do this with the macro attachment still on. This is the picture of uh, the spermatheca for a female GBB. So this is what you look for. You can see the white cloudiness area. Um, and then the uh, that uterus externus there with the spermatheca. So, uh, pretty cool. I don't know how big she got, but we'll take a look at her in a minute. I just happened to notice the molt in there. I was actually kind of surprised because she just ate like six or seven days ago. So, let's uh, take a look at her. Okay, everybody. There she is. The best I can get a picture of her. Um, I'm holding the camera so it's going to be shaky. But uh, she looks pretty hardened up already, so I would say her molt was, mm, let's see, three or four days ago. Because she ate, she ate like six or seven days ago, and one of the crickets was floating around the water dish. That was Thursday. Yeah, because it was the day I had my EMG test. So 
so that's one, two, three, four, five, six days ago. So I would say probably three or four days ago she molted. So uh, yeah, look forward to her in future feeding videos. Um, now she'll be a little bit more aggressive eating. She hasn't really eaten too much since I've had her, but that's probably why. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this. Uh, and there's probably more updates to come.